My name is Doug Parker. I'm the host of Cruise Radio, and today we're going to take a look at the 15 changes that Carnival Cruise Line made in 2018. Before we jump in here, if you like this channel, feel free to subscribe or give us a thumbs up on the video. We sure would appreciate that. So Carnival Cruise Line right now has 26 ships. Number 27 will come online when Carnival Panorama debuts in December of 2019 over in Long Beach. So with all those ships comes a lot of overhead and a lot of these changes are just flat out profit based. I mean, there's no way around it. You got to make the shareholders happy, right? All right, let's jump in here. The first change is Carnival updating their smoking policy. So before anyone who got caught smoking on their balcony was just charged a cleaning fee. Now the guilty smokers, if you're caught breaking the rules, uh, you'll get a $500 fine and the possibility of being kicked off the ship at the next port of call. And if you had any roommates in the room, basically anyone with the guilty party, they'd be kicked off the ship too. And of course, fire is the biggest threat to a cruise ship. So this is just designed to keep the ship safe and keep the smoking in the designated areas, which uh, is on the outside decks and inside the casino. The number two change of 2018 for Carnival Cruise Line was changing and increasing their internet price. So Carnival Social Plan, which was Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, it was the most popular plan, it still is actually, and it increased from $5 per person per day to $8 per person per day. Uh, or if you want to buy it in advance, it was $4 and now it's $6.80. And you can kind of, uh, you can book that in your cruise manager at carnival.com. Despite the price hike, this is still their most popular package and Carnival is slowly, very slowly, adding bandwidth across their ships to make their packages even quicker because they're not known for the best speeds. It's, they're definitely no Royal Caribbean. The number three change in 2018 for Carnival Cruise Line is them getting bullish on the West Coast. Carnival started off by uh, announcing that Carnival Panorama was going to be based at the Long Beach Cruise Terminal, which is over in LA in California, which is gonna be their first uh, Carnival ship there deployed to Southern California in 20 years. They also announced the same day they're going to invest a lot of money in the cruise port of Ensenada. And also recently they just announced that uh, they're going into San Francisco for the first time with Carnival Miracle. So Carnival getting really bullish on the West Coast. We did see a lot of cruise ships going into the Gulf Coast ports like Galveston. That is still growing and now that seems to be trickling over to the West Coast. The next change of 2018 was Carnival increasing the price of their steakhouse. They went up from $35 to $38. So yeah, a $3 price hike, um, not a huge deal, but the good news is they brought back the cheesecake. So that's uh, something positive, right? Number five is gratuities went up from $12.95 to $13.99 per person per day. And yes, another price increase here. It was just increased by a dollar last year. So uh, of course, unexpected backlash on this which brings to the question, will gratuities ever be included into the price of the cruise? Carnival Cruise Line's brand ambassador, John Heald, said absolutely not. Gratuities will always be extra. So now you're paying $13.99 per person per day. Number six is a change that Carnival did very quietly and almost overnight, they reduced the drink value limit from $50 to $20 on alcoholic drinks included in the Cheers beverage package. However, the truth is not many drinks were really affected by this change because there was only a couple of drinks that were even over $20 per pour. So it wasn't a big change, but people did notice. The seventh change at Carnival Cruise Line in 2018 is two ships announced total makeovers following in the footsteps of Carnival Sunshine, which happened in 2013. Yeah, Carnival Radiance and Carnival Sunrise, currently known as Carnival Victory and Triumph, will emerge as new ships renamed and everything after, after uh, their respective dry docks in 2019 and 2020. This, of course, is part of Carnival's $2 billion, with a B, dollar uh, fleet enhancement program. And you'll see new accommodations, dining venues, and entertainment options. The eighth change for 2018 is announcing the first roller coaster at sea. Yeah, going to happen on the Carnival Mardi Gras that's set to debut in 2020. This is an industry first. Carnival recently announced that the first ship in its upcoming XL class is going to feature a roller coaster. It's going to be 187 feet above sea level and go up to 40 miles an hour with all these twisting tracks. Uh, one of the questions is, will this roller coaster go over the Serenity area? Because if you look at the video, it kind of shows that, but that could have just been, you know, j just a generic area of the ship that just to show the video footage. So we'll see exactly where this track is laid. But again, that ship is coming out in 2020 and it's going to be home ported in Port Canaveral. Number nine takes us back to January 1st, 2018, when the price of the Cheers package, the all you can drink package went up from $51.95 per person per day when booked before your sailing or $56.95 per person per day when booked on the ship. Uh, despite this increase, it was like a $2 increase per day. 
But if you like your drinks, if you like your espressos, your energy drinks, your alcohol drinks, and you drink more than uh, $60 basically after you add the 18% gratuity, this package is still definitely worth it for 15 drinks. The 10th change of 2018 was Carnival increasing the price of Faster to the Fun. Now, while they will argue that it was only changed once this year, it's not true. They changed it a lot of times. If you follow this as closely as I do and see the screenshots, it's a lot more than once. So someone needs to learn to do some math over there. But anyway, at the lowest, it'll cost you $49.95 per stateroom for a three-day cruise, excluding Carnival Liberty. That's a very popular ship out of Port Canaveral, so that's a little bit more. And at the most expensive, Carnival Faster to the Fun will run you $100 to $19.95 for an eight-day cruise on Carnival Horizon out of Port Miami. However, you still get the perks like priority embarkation and debarkation, priority tendering, dining, and all that. However, it does continue to sell out. So if you do want Faster to the Fun, make sure you book this and secure your spot when you book the cruise. And the 11th change is when Carnival Radiance emerges from her two-month, $200 million dry dock in 2020. Gosh, that's a lot of twos there. This ship will be the first in the fleet to have the new Big Chicken Restaurant. It's the creation of their chief fun officer, the CFO, Shaquille O'Neal, of course, NBA Hall of Famer. He actually has a restaurant in Vegas right now, and it does serve fried chicken sandwiches, including chicken and egg biscuits for breakfast. And again, this is going to be free, so totally complimentary and part of the cruise experience. The number 12 change over at Carnival Cruise Line for 2018 is the introduction of Carnival Horizon, their second Vista class ship. The ship came online in April of 2018. It spent a couple of sailings in the Med, then went to New York and now is sailing out of Miami. This, of course, is the ship that has the Bonsai Teppanyaki on it. It has the IMAX Theater, the Sky Course, the Dr. Seuss Water Park. It's a really popular ship. Right now, it's sailing six and eight night sailings out of Port Miami, and it's going to be there for the foreseeable future. And overall, it's a great ship. The 13th change at Carnival Cruise Line is them increasing the price of the drink gratuity. So basically overnight, and they were very sneaky about this because um, no warning at all, Carnival raised the gratuities on the Cheers beverage package and drinks around the ship from 15% to 18%, so 3% there. Now, while this increase, yeah, it is minimal. Um, Carnival is splitting the increase with the crew and the bartenders. So whereas you're thinking, oh, the bartenders make 3% more, that's not the case. A letter went out to the bartenders saying, hey, we get 1.5% and you get a 1.5% increase. Number 14 is the Hub app was enabled to do online check-in and pizza delivery. So earlier this year, Carnival began testing pizza delivery on Carnival Horizon. I actually had a chance to try it out June of 2018 and it worked really well. They found me where I was at the Pig and Anchor brew house, um, the, the, uh, the bar on the ship, and it was a $5 surcharge and I got to, uh, the option to leave a tip on the app, so that was cool. Um, and then another update in late December was pushed out saying that this is now available on Carnival Victory, Carnival Breeze, Carnival Magic, and Conquest, as well as Horizon, and that more ships are going to be added soon. Um, the app update also did a couple of other little things, like um, you can do your cruise countdown on social media now. You can book and pay for things like excursions, drink packages, treatments, and more. So basically another way to take your money, but in a good way. And the very last change at Carnival Cruise Line for 2018 was the uh, addition of their Family Zone Lunch on Embarkation Day. Now, I cannot confirm that this is on every single ship, but I do know for a fact that it was started in November on Carnival Liberty. And this is, a, this is kind of a way to bring all the kids down from the Lido deck, you know, when they're running amok up there, uh, grabbing stuff off the buffet and all that. They have their own family area down in the main dining room on Carnival Liberty. It's the midship main dining room, and it's the Family Zone Lunch. So you have to have a family family to go in there and it's set up uh, it's set up like a buffet so there's like you're not going to have waiters and everything there there is a drink station set up and a carving station and everything like there is on Lido. so if carnival does go fleet wide with this if it isn't already this is a really this is an excellent idea and there you have it. Those are the 15 changes from Carnival Cruise Line in 2018. Who knows what 2019 will bring? Hopefully no more price increases on anything because uh, their cruises are already demanding a premium as it is in 2019. So I guess we'll have to just wait and see. Once again, my name is Doug Parker. I'm the host of Cruise Radio. If you have any questions about any of these changes, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, feel free to check out the Cruise Radio podcast and the Cruise Radio daily news briefs. You can subscribe to those however you listen to your favorite podcast podcast just type in cruise radio news or type in cruise radio a new show is released every single thursday once again my name is doug parker i appreciate you being here